First, I want to clarify that I am not a spreadsheet expert. I don't use spreadsheets very often. However, this is one tip that I show folks who are either learning spreadsheets or even people that use them all the time and don't realize this simple tip. And the tip is how to fix either a column or a row so that you can see it when you're scrolling through a long spreadsheet. So I have a dummy spreadsheet here, just a few columns wide, and I want to fix this first row so that when I scroll down through my spreadsheet, I know what the column headings are. And the way you do that is you come over here to the right hand side in Microsoft Excel, and this is all versions of Excel, and I click here on this little bitty inconspicuous area right above the scroll bar. You can see my cursor turns into a double arrow. I'll click and I'll just drag it right below row one. And now, as you can see, it's a fixed row. I can do the same thing for a column. This time to fix a column I need to come to the very right hand side of the spreadsheet right next to the horizontal scroll bar. Click and drag to fix the column that I want. Now notice when I scroll through here my column stays fixed. So I have my row fixed and have my column fixed and I can get through there quite easily. So that's in Microsoft Excel. I'm going to show you a couple other spreadsheets. Next is OpenOffice and OpenOffice works very similarly to Microsoft Office and we're going to go right up above the scroll bar here on the right and I can scroll down. That fixes my row as you can see there. And then on the right hand side of the horizontal scroll bar I can click this little black area, come over here, and now I've fixed my column as well. So that's in OpenOffice. Next up is the Microsoft Works spreadsheet. And again, right above the vertical scroll bar, I can click and drag down to fix my row. And for some unknown reason, Microsoft has switched the vertical fixer in Microsoft Works, and that's way over here on the left hand side of the spreadsheet. It's almost hard to get to. Click and drag to fix the number of columns you want. And you, and you can fix more than one row or one column by simply dragging your fixed indicator here to however many rows or columns you need. And if you want to get rid of it altogether, you just simply drag it to the left or the right, depending on what spreadsheet you're working, or up or down, to stop using the fixed feature. Next up is the Google Documents spreadsheet, and I can fix the row by coming up here in this little left-hand corner. They've gone opposite of Microsoft, and it's here in the left-hand corner, and click on this little kind of hash-marked area. Click and drag down to fix the row that I want to fix. Or again, you can do multiple if you want to. And if you want to fix a column, it's right in the same area, right up here on the upper left, I can click and drag and fix a column the same way I did the row. So that is Google Docs spreadsheet. And lastly is the Zoho spreadsheet, which for some reason only lets you fix a row or a column, but not both. So if I want to fix my first row here in Zoho sheet, I can highlight that row by clicking the number of the row here. Then I right click on that row and click freeze the pane. Don't know why they call it that, but now you can see that I have the first row fixed. Now if I want to fix column A, you'll see if I high right click on that, I can't freeze it. I have to unfreeze the other ones first before I can freeze it. So I find that interesting that Zoho Sheet does not have that feature since it really duplicates so many of the features in most spreadsheets, particularly Microsoft Excel. So there's how you fix a row and or a column in all kinds of different spreadsheets. Give that a try and I think you'll find it very useful and by all means share this tip with any spreadsheet users you know.